Hello, my name is Lisa and I'll be reading to a book named The Lilac Ladies. The Lilac Ladies. On Mondays, the Lilac Ladies went to the green and every Monday, Nellie reminded Ida how to play. On Tuesdays, they bobbed in the bathers and every Tuesday, Nellie rubbed cream on Rose's shoulders so they wouldn't sizzle in the sun. On Wednesdays, they slipped sodas at Sam's and every Wednesday, when Maisie choked on her cherry, Nellie knew just what to do. On Thursdays, they tangled toes in tango, and every Thursday, Nellie untied their laces and got them back on their feet. But, if, but Fridays were the sweetest day of all. That was the day Nellie baked the highest of high teas. This cake is fluffier than my feather boa, said Ida, and the cream puffs are lighter than spring clouds, said Rose. I wouldn't sip tea with anyone but you darling dears, said Maisie. That's because we're as close as the prickles on a porcupine, said Nellie. But on Monday everything changed. I feel dizzier than dishwasher, said Nellie. You ladies go on the green without me. But how will I remember the rules? said Ida. Nellie felt no better than next day. I feel more muddled than mud pie. You ladies have a dip without me. But what if I sizzle in the sun? said Rose. On Wednesdays, Nellie couldn't take a sip, single sip of soda. And Thursdays, she didn't even turn up. Perhaps she got choked cleaning the chimney, said Ida. Perhaps she feels dizzy digging her grenade, said Rose. Or perhaps she slipped away with the circus, said Maisie. On Friday, they went to Nellie's for the highest of the high teas. There wasn't a crumble of cake to be found. Come here and hold my hand, said Nellie. Let's remember the fun times we had. Do you remember the time we went fishing in the little blue boat, said Ida, and the time we, hike, we went hiking in the hills, said Rose, and the time we rode on roller coaster, said Maisie, and the wind made a mess in Ida's curls? Long into the night they remembered, but when the sun rose, they, fi they finally let Nellie go. On Monday, Ida didn't want to be seen on the green. On Tuesdays, Rose didn't want to bobble in her bathers. On Wednesday, Maisie didn't want to sip anything at all. On Thursdays, no one danced the tango. And on Fridays, no one ate cake. Then the next week, Ida found a book of games and learned every rule. On Rose found something to protect herself from the sun. Maisie made herself a soda and left out the cherry. On Thursday they will slip on shoes so they wouldn't get tangled. It's time we got back on our feet, said Ida. Nellie wouldn't want us to wallow, said Rose. Let's hitch up our leggings and carry on, said Maisie. The Friday was still the sweetest day of all. It was the day they ate the highest of high teas. This cake is f just as fluffy as my feather boa, said Ida, and the cream puffs are as light as spring clouds, and we're even closer than prickles on a porcupine, said Maisie, and so they were. The end. See you next time with a brand new story.